Hi, my name is Zain Alusain Nakmi. Uh, I'm a senior executive for the product team here at Zell Education. By qualification, I'm an uh, I'm an ACC affiliate. Um, so uh, as part of my work experience, I have worked for close to three three and a half years. Um, I've worked in companies such as Grant Thornton and EY. And today, I'd like to talk about my experience of how did I get into these companies and my journey through them. Before that, uh, Zell Education has its own Instagram page where we often post reels, carousels, and we make videos covering a variety of topics. Uh, if you like, if you'd like any video, please put it down in the co- comments, and we'll be more than happy to make a video for you. Moving on to the first part, uh, in 2019, um, I, I joined Grant Thornton. Uh, I got this Grant Thornton opportunity uh, as a Zell student, so I completed my ACCA year at Zell Education. Uh, while I completed five papers. Uh, an opportunity arose for a statutory audit role at Grant Thornton. Um, I applied for the role after consulting Anantan Pratham. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get in that field. At that time, I was in my second year. For me, uh, at this point of my career, it was a very uh, a decision I had to make, which would shape my career. Um, I decided to give the interview. So the interview at Grant Thornton was for, like I said, for a statutory audit role. So there were three rounds of interviews. The first round was an HR round. The second round was a a technical round. The third round was a, a partner round. I cleared the interviews and I got into Grant Thornton uh, at the age of 19. Uh, I was yet in my second year of college. I was about to begin my third year, and I had completed about five to six ACC papers. So for me, it was a huge, huge step to actually, you know, enter the enter a corporate. At Grant Thornton, I worked in the financial services sector, servicing some of the largest banks in the country. Uh, you know, a couple of uh, a couple of AIFs, mutual funds, and obviously as at a trainee level. But the amount I learned over there really helped me clear my ACC papers in terms of I chose to do double A and triple A. You know, triple A by choice, obviously as an optional paper. Uh, I cleared these papers with a, with a good grade. Uh, moving on, after about eighteen months at Grant Thornton, I decided to you know move on in terms of explore the other options. I I decided uh, you know to sit down uh, after the pandemic while I was yet working Grant Thornton and uh, made a made a decision to go into consulting. Um, so I I identified a few consulting companies I wanted to get into. A few of them were in the big four. A few of them were MNCs. Once I made this decision, I started applying to these companies, but obviously there was no avail in terms of. Cold calling or you know dropping emails to you know HRs wasn't helping out. At at that point of time, I was an ACC affiliate. By October twenty, I I had uh, cleared my ACC and I decided it's time to move on. Um, so I I spoke to Anant and Pratham and they gave me a very uh, gave me few tips about LinkedIn, which said okay look LinkedIn is basically cold calling for you. And at that point of time, uh, they told me just you know why not add a few managers or HR uh, you know HR personnel on LinkedIn by just searching. EY HR KPMG HR or any other companies which I wanted to get into with the, the term HR. This helped me connect with a lot of HR personnel from these companies. Uh, once I got in touch with them, I often saw their posts, and they obviously post a lot of their job opportunities that come up. Today, the next morning, I saw the HR managers at EY liked another HR manager at EY's post, which was uh, a job role I exactly wanted. So I applied for that post. I submitted my CV. I submitted my resume. I got an interview call. So after I got the telephonic interview, I did get into I did get into EY in a consulting role again in financial services, something I really wanted to explore. The moral of this video being that uh, LinkedIn as a tool, uh, also networking as a tool, if used correctly, uh, can be really really beneficial for your careers. Um, you know, uh, marketing yourself correctly on LinkedIn, not posting excessive information or posting information that is false. Uh, you know, uh, also in terms of networking, uh, you know. Uh, speaking to the right people, maintaining a relation with them, you know, can go a long way in your professional career. You know, in your personal journey as well. Uh, you know, p- people I know I've worked with in Grant Thornton and Eva. I'm yet in touch with. I do do try and maintain communication with them. It's always a give and take relation, right? Uh, you know, they can help me in certain ways. I can help them in certain ways, and you know, it always goes a long way. So LinkedIn and networking are very very crucial for you to find a job to you know build your career in the industry. So guys, this was my journey from uh, Grant Thornton to Eva. Uh, a journey i started at the age of 19 uh, if you have any questions please put them down in the comments also don't forget to like share and subscribe and yes thank you so much everyone